We welcome Colt Brennan to the show. And Colt, the last time we saw you, you were a bit out of it. How's the old noggin right now? <laughs> Uh, it's a lot better, uh, definitely a lot better. A couple of days after that, I've been feeling fine, so bounce back from that one, all right. What do you remember about that play, if anything? Um, I remember spinning out originally. I made the first guy miss, and I tried to get outside. It was like third down, and I was trying to pick up the first down, and um, the linebacker was coming downhill, and there was a guy in front of me, and I had two guys coming to block, and just the way he came, he kind of just showed up out of nowhere, and I, I wasn't really expecting him. And, uh, he just, he laid me out, and um, you know, that's the way it goes. That's the game we play, and uh, luckily I'm all right, and I'm back, and I'm ready. Well, you got an old school coach in June Jones, and he says in the old days, somebody would have put some smelling salts under your nose and told you to get back out there, but it's more complicated than that now, Colt. They examine you and examine you and examine you. Has anybody advised you seriously not to play? Um, well, you know, in, in all honesty, they're, uh, they're still going through the examination process right now. Um, just making sure and seeing how I do at practice and how I react and everything. Uh, you know, the way it's been told to me is that, you know, it's going to be a game time decision and, you know, it's not really in my hands. I think everybody knows I want to play, I want to get out there. Um, but it'll be up to the doctors and Coach Jones and, um, you know, we'll see how I, it goes today and, and hopefully tomorrow I can get cleared. Colt, you and Kansas are the only undefeated teams left. Do you feel you deserve a higher BCS ranking than where you currently are at 16? Um, I think uh, with a couple victories in these next couple weeks, definitely. You know, we're, we're out on our island. We're not doing anything to no one. We're just winning football games, having fun. And, um, you know, I don't think you can deny that. You know, what we've been doing this year is winning in, uh, in all phases of it. And um, so we've got a great football team. We just got to keep winning, and hopefully that'll be enough to get us an opportunity to, to make a run for a BCS bowl game. Colt, your, your statistics are absolutely off the charts. If there's any criticism, people would say, well, it's a system that's tailor-made for any quarterback out there. How much attention do you pay to that, and how much attention do you pay to your own draft stock for the NFL? Um, well, it's true. It's a great system, and it makes you know an average quarterback good. It makes a, a great quarterback even better. Um, but you know, looking at it now, I, I haven't seen in, in the way that you know me and my receivers have developed. I mean, this offense hasn't been run this good. You know, you can just tell statistically, and by the way, we've been winning football games. You know, this is the best. It seems like this offense has been run, and that's where this offense has gotten to right now. And we're just having a lot of fun winning football games, and hopefully, we can just keep it going and keep getting better. If you keep it going, and if you fill up the stat sheet individually yourself, Colt, there's still the Heisman Trophy possibility out there for you. I'm going to mention some names, because you wake up so early in Hawaii, you've probably seen, games are on so early, you've probably seen everybody play. Dennis Dixon, Mike Hart, Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow, Darren McFadden, Pat White, maybe some other guys you've seen. Who would be your Heisman pick right now, or your top two or three guys? Um, you know, right now, if, if, if I were to give the, the trophy out today, I, I'd say Dennis Dixon, uh, you know, great quarterback, um, you know, on NCAA PlayStation, I, you know, that's the guy that I love using all the time, so um, it's a lot of fun, and he's had a great year, obviously Oregon has had a tremendous run this year, I think he, he would deserve it today. Okay, that, that's great that Wilbon set you up to pick someone else for the Heisman, but in fact, would you vote for yourself for the Heisman? Do you think you deserve it? If I, if, if I ended the season 12-0, and 0, I, would, I would vote for myself to go to New York. I would. All right, early in the season, when we saw you play, you had the platinum blonde hair. You had the Hawaiian <laughs> Islands dyed. I think it was dyed. What, how did you get that cut? And what happened, Colt? You're all, you know, clean cut now, back to normal. Where's the dyed platinum blonde hair? <laughs> uh, you know, I was trying to have some fun this, uh, this summer and, you know, my team, we have so many dynamic guys. There's so many haircuts, you know, from guys, you know, dreadlocks, from, you know, braids down to their shoulders. We got guys with bleached hair. And, um, you know, I was trying to have fun. I was trying to get in it. I tried the dreads out. It didn't work too well. My middle linebacker, Blaze Soros, he had this idea of uh, bleaching our hair and putting the Hawaiian Islands in it. And I said, you know, that's a good idea. Let's do it for the first game. So we, we did it for the first game and it, and it stuck around. And, um, at, at, you know, when it was all said and done, I, you know, I thought it was time to move on and focus on football. But we had a lot of fun with it, and it was a great start to the season. All right, we'll get you out of here on this. And remember the two people you're talking to. We also heard you shaved your head earlier this season. Admit it, women dig bald guys, don't they? They do. They, they, they like a nice clean cut. So you're all good. <laughs> don't worry. Keep with it. Thank you for joining us, Cole. Cole Thanks thank very you. much. <laughs> hey, thank you, guys.